Yeah, the homeowner tells us he was so disturbed by what he saw on his own security video that he called police out here to this neighborhood in Riverside immediately. And the police department tells us that one officer came out here for a second time to make sure they caught this guy. Wielding a small child like a weapon, a 27 year old Riverside man was caught on security camera swinging his little boy's body at his frightened girlfriend. Almost like a baseball bat. Riverside police now say the woman in the video was trying to hide from her boyfriend inside the gated community last week. But when he found her, his temper flared. That takes your breath away. And then there's anger. Detective Jerry Lynn Chebikowski describing her reaction as a mother watching what happened to the 18 month old. She says an officer investigating the video was so upset he went back to the Montecito estates on his own to track down the suspect, and he found him. Tech Oak Danny Lim was arrested for child endangerment with great bodily injury. No one answered the door at Lim's listed address inside the community. Yeah, I, I've talked to him many times. But his neighbor, Brandon Harris, says he's never seen Lim act out. He was disgusted watching what police say Lim did to his own son. And to see the baby get up and then still run to dad because they're innocent. That's just horrible. He did admit and said he would probably be going to jail for what he did. Police say the little boy is back with his biological mother, that he only has cuts and bruises. As for the family that turned over that video. With the baby being dropped to the floor and used as a weapon, that was, that was horrendous. Yeah, my wife is still shook up over that. So. Many believe they stopped it from happening again. Police are praising them for getting involved. You know, this person really is, you know, almost a hero for doing what he did. And some people are wondering why the girlfriend in that video wasn't in any sort of trouble for not reporting this crime herself. The police department says at this point in time, she is also considered a victim. Live in Riverside tonight, Nicole Comstock, CBS 2 News. Nicole, thank you.